everyone and welcome. I'm Rosie. And I'm Shorty. And this is Skate Sunday. Thanks for joining us. Hi. Listen, I swear to God, if you don't like, comment, subscribe. Do all the things. Share. Leave us five star reviews. Yeah, I said it. Leave us five. (laughs) If you're watching us now, screenshot us. Post it to your story. Tag us. Yep. We'll pose for you right now. Look. (laughs) <laughs> so before we get into the episode we got a special announcement we do if you don't realize that we're a little bit happier and more relaxed and less stressed looking <laughs> <laughs> we have a new scoop a new addition to our sunday we, we got, do we got we got our crew member a new crew member we come introduce him come on over. come here baby boy. carson carson <laughs> wait you gotta get in you gotta get in <laughs> Come on, introduce yourself. Come on, don't be shy. My name is Carson. <laughs> and what do you do here at Skate Sunday? Uh, all the background stuff. <laughs> and how do you know us? I don't know them. <laughs> Skate park. <laughs> Are you being held against your will? <laughs> No, no. So what what um are you most excited about um as you join us for Skate Sunday as a crew member? Um just being a part of the community, honestly. Um Aww. it's a cool community, you know, we're all rolling, so that's probably the best part. You're so sweet. <laughs> um, and, and I just want to I want to give Carson a little spotlight, but Carson is is one of the one of the boys that you know at the skate park made made us feel welcome then the first ally yeah <laughs> that oh, we had first quad ally in our uh at our skate park and just kind of being like hey it's our turn you know yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you carson we're very happy you're here yes thank you so much for joining us and helping us and you know helping me set up and fetching our modelos <laughs> <laughs> Telling us when to put lip gloss on. Yep. Yep. Big job. Big shoes to fill. <laughs> <laughs> Takes a village. A huge thank you to our sponsors, Derby Warehouse. We're an affiliate. Use our affiliate link in the bio or down in the description below for all your roller skate needs. They have skates, protective gear, apparel, and so much more. I've even seen that they have Heelys and Epic Grind shoes. So what are you waiting for? Head over to Derby Warehouse using our affiliate link and get everything you need to make your roller dreams come true. And if you prefer inlines or ice skates, we also have affiliate links to Inline Warehouse and Ice Warehouse. So check out our links below, and thank you, Derby Warehouse. So welcome to Skate Sunday, everybody. Uh, we have a wonderful episode for you all. Um, we got some bladies on. We have the first lady. <laughs> like the first lady? Like the first lady. <laughs> We have Skittle Sky on today, and we're going to ask her some questions, get to know her, and understand the world of, you know, bladies, bladers. I know, we typically have quad skaters on, but down here, there's such a big blading community, and there's so many amazing skaters down here, so we got one of our favorites as of lately, and we're so excited um, to finally meet her. Yeah, so we're going to welcome her in. Welcome. Welcome to Skate Sunday. Hi. Thanks for being here. Thank you, guys. Thank you, guys, for inviting me. <laughs> so go ahead and introduce yourself. Okay, so I'm Stephanie Rodriguez. Uh, my pronouns are she. Um, and yeah, I'm a rollerblader. <laughs> we're so excited to have our first lady on. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited myself, you know. Um I see your uh, show sometimes, so I'm just, like, pretty stoked about it. You guys were there for the FM Invitational, so I was, like, (laughs) so psyched to see Frankie getting an interview. (laughs) Oh, my God. That was such a highlight for us. That was the best day. (laughs) Yeah, we were like, we got to ask Frankie. We got to ask him. We got to ask him. (laughs) (laughs) It took us, like, all day to ask. Yeah, it was fun. It was really fun. And it was great to see you. Like, we were like, fuck, 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 fuck. (laughs) (laughs) I feel like what you guys are doing is great like i feel like um you know like somebody has to do a podcast because people want to know <laughs> <laughs> for sure thank you so much yes thank you um so why don't you tell us a little bit about your skating journey so my skate journey um 
very interesting. I really enjoy uh, rollerblading. I first started maybe like when I was a kid. My mom got like some oversized rollerblades from um, her boss. So like, you know, like me and my husband, we both have really rough backgrounds. I'm uh, from Honduras. I was born there. So I've been working since I was 13 years old with a work permit. <laughs> so I finally ha I have a green card. I can finally travel. Um, <laughs> okay. But the point is that like, you know, my mom was working with this boss and um, he kind of became family and he gave her like these rollerblades and I put them on. And even though they were like size 12, I don't even know what size they were. And I was like a size one. Like I didn't really have problems like putting them on and just rolling around. I just had fun. So then ever since then, I just really liked rollerblades. Um, but my parents couldn't really afford to buy me some rollerblades. I eventually, you know, like bought them for myself as a teenager. Um, and I started rolling from there. <laughs> a lot of us have been there to where like, you just use what you got, you know, like, and you make it work. Right. You know, <laughs> exactly, exactly. I can um, relate to that too. Cause I feel like at least a lot of skaters my age, when we were kids, that's when blading was really cool. And my dad worked for Coors Light Distributor, so he would always come home with all their random gear. And he had rollerblades <laughs> that were like Coors Light rollerblades. And I'm dying that I don't have them anymore. But they were <laughs> like you, like probably my mom's blades that were so big on me. And I was still like going down hills in my neighborhood and like trying. Just put more socks. Put more yeah, socks. exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Like double socks. It still works now, guys. Like, I mean, every... Every skate for me is like way too big for my feet. I'm literally like a size four or five in women sometimes. But you know, like as a like rollerblades, period, like they're the minimal size is like six or seven. So I double them up. <laughs> the socks. Yeah. yeah, for sure. And I, I've noticed that like before I got into um roller skating, I was really heavy into rollerblading. <laughs> like I loved watching the videos and stuff like that. And um, I don't know why I picked quads, but, you know, I ended up picking quads. I feel like quads are awesome, too. Like, you know, yeah. there's there's two totally different styles. And I feel like quads are evolving as as well. So you guys are about to start killing it, too. <laughs> for sure. For sure. Yeah, you I think they're really taking it. notes from bladers 100 percent as far as street skating goes. Yeah, we were and even just the style. It's really cool, like dancing and stuff. I feel like it's all great. I got some moves, but I'm too like. I'm not, I'm, like, I'm scared to, like, show everybody. Oh, you know? yeah? <laughs> oh, oh, you got some quads? I didn't know. I, I got to practice at home first, so. <laughs> <laughs> I got to keep practicing. <laughs> so, um, so what is it, what is it like being um, a, a blader or a blady? Yeah. Um, it's really fun. I, I love it, you know, for me, um, in general, I feel like even, like, quads or anybody for that matter uh i feel like there's just a really big community of us now and the fact that quads came into play i feel like we both hold hands and hands together so quads kind of shine the light for rollerbladers i feel like because since i've been rollerblading for a long time i haven't seen any quads for a long time on up until now um and i feel like that's a good thing because now it's like it's becoming like a like just like a big thing you know like any wheels on your feet and the fact that we just like we just go inside together i feel like it's great like we can throw competitions and have them together and we all come as one yeah fm invitational was really like I, like I said on our one hour, I felt like watching the circus. Like I was watching things I would never thought I would see like in person over and over and over again. It was it was so cool. They're sending yeah. it. like you bladers really will skate on anything. I really love it, you know, like just the whole lifestyle I feel. <laughs> it's just great, you know, and I, I feel kind of fortunate that I'm able to um travel now, you know. I have an upcoming uh an upcoming trip to Europe for the first time. So that's oh, really wow. exciting. Okay. In Where July. Are Where are you going? Where are you going? Is it just so, for, like just for skating for you? So I'm going to tell you all about it, right? So what had happened was, um, Frankie's <laughs> probably going to get upset, but so I bought some tickets. Uh, well, I bought, I put like a $250 deposit to go to Blading Camp. I'm, if you don't know what it is, it's in um, Malaga, Spain. 
Mm -hmm. Um, And uh, there's going to be like, you know, professional rollerbladers and quads. Uh, There's going to be Bamba there. She's the quad. Um, Yeah, she's going to be there. Um, There's also like Montre, uh, Nose Jansen. But yeah, anyways, uh, it looks amazing. It's a big mansion. And they also get to go down like, uh, like, uh, like, water (laughs) like the beaches my bad (laughs) Mm -hmm. so that's great you know and so i put down my deposit i didn't tell frankie anything but i was like you know putting it in (laughs) here you're here live frankie (laughs) (laughs) for some time i mean he knows now but (laughs) but then he was all like what are you talking about you're gonna go across the country without me and it's your first time leaving the country and you know and then Whatever. Now, hey, Sunday, we don't know anything. We didn't hear. <laughs> we will. We will support all purchases. <laughs> yeah. So then, um, eventually, he was like, he's he was with it. So he was all like, yeah, I'm so down to go with you. And after Aww. he said that, I was like, okay, cool. Then I started buying tickets to go to London, Paris, and then Barcelona. And he's the type of person that doesn't really like to travel because he's already been all over the world. But then. I secretly bought the London tickets and I started putting it in his ears again. And then, and then I, eventually he was with it. You know, he, he's, he's that type of person that it takes a little bit to like convince him. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm definitely planning to skate in London, Paris, Barcelona, and looking forward to my trip to Malaga for Blade Camp. That's so exciting. Bamba is like my number one favorite. Oh, I, I can't <laughs> yeah, wait to like live through it. you, like watching you on Instagram. Be like, yeah, like, yeah. <laughs> get it, get it. <laughs> so, um, I know you're. So you're going to you're going to blading camp. Um, I know you're going to learn a lot of things. But is there any tips you have, like maybe safety tips you have for um people that are starting out blading or maybe new to it? Um, yeah, so, I mean, um, first things first, like, it, it has to be realized that you're gonna fall, and you're gonna fail. But with failure comes, you know, you have to succeed eventually. (laughs) So if you fall, just keep getting up. Um, And eventually, you're gonna get it, it takes time. It's it comes with experience. Rome wasn't built in a day. Um, and if you really love it, you know, it doesn't even matter if you're good at it. The fact that you're having fun is what's really important. Which brings me to one thing. Like, I know that everybody has this clip on their phone that they're like second guessing whether they should post it. I think they should post it. <laughs> oh, I love that. <laughs> you know, just putting it out there. <laughs> Cause I, I have clips too that I'm just like, I don't think I should post this. I don't like it. I want to see. <laughs> yeah. post, post, post it. it. Post it. I mean, I, I, the one, the one that I just posted, like the, the little reel that you guys saw from, um, it was like this little yellow reel, and I don't even know how I got a hundred k like views. I was like, I didn't even think it would go viral like that. Like, but because yeah, you are why. a beautiful skater. Like, yeah. there's a lot of skaters out there, but like your style and your you're very controlled and i like gush gush over your like how low you are i'm always like yelling everybody to be lower and bend their knees and it's just like watching you like stick a landing and just be like sitting on the ground almost and then just stand straight back up is just like beautiful (laughs) like it's because i really appreciate that that's why it's getting movement for sure i appreciate that (laughs) thank you so (laughs) miami is like really different than here as far as street skating because i feel like you really can't get away with street skating in a lot of areas in palm beach county so what's it like down there like how is it finding new spots and things like that are you just relying on like friends to let you know are you just kind of scoping it out yourself so funny thing is that I I like to call my friend Gabby, <laughs> my little like uh, skate Gabby. agent. Yeah, I freaking love her. I'm actually here with her right now. Come here, come say hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> we got this a cameo. Like my... What a cameo? <laughs> <laughs> She's my skate BFF. How are you? Nice to meet so you all. good. <laughs> <laughs> well, now you gotta but know yeah, all all good so right now. for our listeners. <laughs> they say introduce so, yourself how are you nice to meet you Gabby um yes Gabby Velasquez 
Uh, I'm originally from Venezuela, so and I've been living in the US for like probably the last seven years. <laughs> Another beautiful blader down yes. here in South Florida. I'm sweating like, right I'm now. So <laughs> up <shook. laughs> but I, I I love her. Um the reason why I bring her up is because she's the one that's always like, let's skate this spot, let's skate that spot. You know, and yeah. she she like I'll be at work like or wherever like at home, and she randomly t- sends me a location. She's like rails over here, <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> okay, let's hit that up. <laughs> and y'all like full send it like it's crazy. Like y'all just I don't I'm I'm amazed at all of the tricks that y'all do. Like seriously, thank you, thanks. You know, like I mean, I eat it a lot too. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, and you do but, show it. I do see the clips where you fall, and I'm like, ooh! <laughs> I feel like that's important to show. Like, it's not like I'm. I I don't. I've never tried to be the best. You know, I'm not the best. And shout out to Fabiola the Silver and 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 uh, China and all the other like ladies that are really killing it in the game. You know what I mean? But for me, I feel like I'm just like I I have fun with it, and I like to show fails because I want to motivate other people to do it too. Like, it's not that. always butterflies and rainbows. <laughs> sure. um, and do you, have you competed before? I've competed, yes. But, you know, for fun. For sure. Um, so what what was that like competing for you, at least for the first time? Oh, the first time was such a, you know, it's funny because I just uh, said China's name. But I have a very specific memory with China. So the first time I ever competed, I can't remember if it was powwow or if it was the 505 competition. Um, but I, I remember, like, I'm a shy girl. I'm a very shy girl. Even right now, I'm scared to talk. You know, I'm, that's just how I am. Right. (laughs) But then China, like, she's pretty shy too. And then she comes up to me, even though she's as shy as I am. And she's like, don't worry. You're going to kill it. You got this. And I'm like, I was trying to, you know, and she talked to me, you know, and I was just like, oh my God, like I, I loved her ever since then. <laughs> that was my first time competing. And then it was just um very, very fun. Like after that, I started competing more. Um, it was like more of an adrenaline rush. Um, like I didn't compete for first place or anything like that. I competed because I felt like, you know, I'm a rollerblader and I, I felt like I like as as a woman as a rollerblader as just a rollerblader in general like i felt like it's cool to just get out there and just show what you're made of i guess <laughs> I, I love looking at uh the blading community so much because like when we've been we've been to what two now two of the fms and it's always a vibe like it's always like so hype so like everyone's just on this like good energy and you know it's really exciting to to be around y'all and you know we hope like and blades we can continue (laughs) to like be friends you know yeah absolutely always (laughs) friends forever (laughs) do you um do you have a preference like street skating or um like skating at the parks or anything um so there's there there are two different styles i love um skating at a park because there's more speed involved like i can go down a ramp and i don't have to work as hard um street skating though it's a good challenge you know and who doesn't like to challenge themselves you know so is there anything you're working on currently well yes (laughs) um you guys will be the first to know about the next fm invitational um april is not happening, unfortunately. I mean, we decided to cut down on just doing just one FM Invitational. Um, but yeah, October, October 7th. <laughs> okay, save the date. Save the date. <laughs> I gotta wear my chili, my chili outfit again. <laughs> that was really cute. I did like the chili outfit. <laughs> so, um, you know, I know we can we can keep you here all night, but is there anything that you want to just like say, promote, or just put out there in the uni- in the universe? Um, yeah, well, um, I mean, I try so hard to you know keep the momentum going for the skate community, or not even just me, just like you know Miami on Wheels, God's Brand, 
FM Invitational. We're all here for you. Whatever you guys need, hit us up. Um, Miami on Wheels. Uh, hopefully you can like put up the Instagram. And oh yes, let me ask you properly. I'm so sorry. I almost forgot to ask you. Um, I see. I see. You, you're always promoting Miami on Wheels. Is that something you're a part of? Like, what's the oh, absolutely feel there? Yeah. <laughs> so Miami on Wheels. It's um, me, my business partner Sandy, and Frankie Morales, of course. Um, and yeah, we're a rollerblade and quad shop. Um, and we do quad repairs. We do rollerblade repairs. We also sell scooters. Uh, we sell wheels. We sell um, all kinds of stuff. You stop by. Uh, it's located inside of Skatebird, which is on 83rd and Biscayne here in Miami. Um, and yeah, come check us out. <laughs> For sure. That's and really exciting. I actually, I have bought some from there. We went to Skateboard oh, once. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. We went to Skateboard, uh, our first time at Skateboard, and I forgot my freaking knee pads and like all my Oh, pads. yeah. We sell knee pads. And they, yeah. they had them. And, and, and helmets actually, too. <laughs> yeah. So I, I brought my skates. I brought my helmets. Didn't bring the freaking knee pads. So, and I needed a new pad set anyway. So like the pad set I'm currently using is actually from Miami on Wheels. <laughs> Wow. Nice. Full circle. <laughs> yeah, for sure. For sure. I'm just so grateful that you were able to come and talk to us today. And we just admire you from afar. And I'm glad we finally get to sit and talk and for actually sure. get to know Thank each other. Thank you guys a for bit. inviting me. For sure. I you're appreciate a, you're, the invite. You're a blader. You're a business woman. You're a mother. You're <laughs> just doing it all. Like, <laughs> I'm a juggler. <laughs> juggler, everything. So again, thank you so much for joining us. Yeah. Um, that's it. You know, we hope to skate with you soon. Thank you guys, and don't forget October seventh. <laughs> we will be there absolutely. Um, so where Love can guys. people where can people find you if they want to find your Instagram? Oh, Skittles Sky. So that's Skittles S K I T T L E S Sky S K Y. And then you said it was, um, at, is it at Miami on wheels? And at Miami on wheels. So at Miami underscore on wheels. A big thank you to Dutia Skates for sponsoring this episode. Dutia Skates is a black and indigenous owned small brand based out of Virginia. They are a sister owned company that prides itself on their unique products. They design custom clothing and accessories for the skate community and beyond. Go to DutiaSkate.com to shop and while you're there make sure you grab your ticket for the skate camp it's called the east coast scramble um it's happening in october so hopefully i'll see you there thank you Thutias. now back to the show oh my goodness what just happened right now that was really cool and fun and cool I, uh, i'm like giddy right now <laughs> i know we had stephanie on She's amazing. We had such a great talk time talking to her. And bonus cameo from Gabby, one of my other favorite bladers. So crazy. Like, and can y'all be our friends? <laughs> <laughs> so are we like friends now? Are we like friends now? <laughs> like, are we, can we hang with the bladies? <laughs> <laughs> um, so do we, do we have a segment for today? I don't know. When are you getting blades? I want some, I want some like pink ones. The blades are cool. I like the Frankie Morales. The gods ones are beautiful. Gods. Gods. I like that it's spelled like god. Gods. Gods. Even though I'm sure they don't pronounce it like that. <laughs> <laughs> Impromptu segment. Think of all the songs you could fit bladies into. Go. <laughs> hey, bladies. Okay, now, bladies. Yeah, if you know you bet. I let bladies leave your man at home. Oh, my God. No, that's so good. <laughs> Ladies, leave your man at home. <laughs> we have the one that, like Carson said, the who's that lady? <laughs> who's that lady? <gasps> you can say it. We can hear you on the mic. All the single ladies. <laughs> <laughs> single ladies. All the single ladies. All the single ladies. All the single ladies. Lady in red. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> that's, a good, that's a good that's a good uh what's it called name instagram name that would be a good instagram handle change it gabby change it, change it. Change it. Blady gaga <laughs> and gabby gaga that's perfect why do we always change people shit <laughs> that's not okay hey blady mom because <laughs> i'm your blady oh my god 
for twenty four ninety nine. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching Skate Sunday. If you're looking for me, you can find me at Rolling with Rosie. And if you're looking for me, you can find me at Hey Shorty with three Y's and two underscores. And if you're looking for us, you can find us at Skate Sunday. Sunday. Thanks for watching and listening. Bye. Bye.